what's good everybody it's your boy well from what i know you already know uh decklist man for uh this season dark magician deck this is the funnest that i've had playing the dark magician deck for sure and i recommend you guys trying it out uh thank you guys for coming through we're gonna go right into it because i don't have a lot of time i actually did this uh but i had muted the mic and i recorded the whole thing muted so now i have to do it again anyways uh, the deck is really good, it's really fun, you guys will see, uh, for those who are interested in using it, um, pretty, very high win rate, I would say, I mean, win most of the games, the games that we lose, probably scoop. Alright, before we get into details, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it helps a lot, man, uh, also, make sure you guys look for us on Facebook, Instagram, Arno Vibes, um, especially Facebook Gaming, that's where we do our live streaming and fun times in the making time. Thank you for being here. So Dark Magician deck, man, we're gonna start quick, quick. Uh, two Dark Magician, I used to run three, I took one out. I keep playing around with it, but uh, it depends on the situation. But I put the Mahal as the, you know, pseudo third Dark Magician. Uh, three souls, two rods, I think three rods is a brick. Um, I used to play that one, to be honest, and add another normal summon, but I settled for two to make it as pure Dark Magician as possible. One Dark Magician draw just for the effects of a couple of cards and three apprentices that that's our monsters. I got our hand trap monsters, two Baylor, two Maxis, and two Ash. The ratio is good. The ratio also helps to get out like Baron or something. Um three, I used to run three, this three, that it was bricky, man. It's a lot of but you can't really brick with Dark Magician, which is the like one of the worst things. RP Feather Duster is better than uh, Black Magic Attack, Dark Magic Attack. Um, searching it requires a lot, and you don't want to really search that with this guy, depending on the situation. Like, Dark Magic Attack, you'd have to have, like, this guy, this guy. Like, you'd have to have this guy to special summon this guy and normal summon this guy to go get it. It was too much. Um, I'd rather open up sometimes, you know, if you go in second, open up to Harpy Feather Duster, might win you the game. That's so why I recommend putting Harpies um, of one foolish, so just to get this guy to the grave or her or Dark Magician himself, or even sometimes Rod, so you can recycle him afterwards. Situations happen when I had to put Rod in the grave, you know. Uh, the one, the one terraforming, which is only at one, the two chicken games, and the one secret village. So a lot of time you're gonna draw into this, like in your first hand. So you activate this, and if you get into that, then after you set up a play or a combo, you can just put the secret and you might just win the game. One circle. Um, the worst thing that can happen to circle is them banishing it, but this deck does not rely on circle. Circle is just there to make a life really hard for them if you do get the banish. So one circle, if you need it, you just recycle it. You know, with this guy, it's very. It, it works. Everything works how it's supposed to. The two call by the grave. You want to try to negate their ash and also their maxis because sometimes you go into a lot of special summons. The one super poly, this helped me. This is like, I used to run it at two, but two makes it bricky for some interesting reason. Um, I'd rather add the Magical Eyes Fusion because sometimes you get too much in the grave and you get Quintet can win you the game as well. Uh, yeah, man, this game went, got, prop, this game, this card is probably the, one of the best cards in the game right now, especially against the strong meta, the high metas. This card, like, oh, dead ass, like, if you just bring this guy out, you slow them down enough that you can win, you know? So, Super Poly is super good to have, and you can, like, go into, like, you know, Verte and change the monster to Dark, then Super Poly. Uh, the three Soul Servant. Soul Servant, Magician, Soul are the best cards, that, and, of course, the Dark Magician himself are, like, the three cards that you really need in the Dark Magician deck. Like, they're the best cards in the deck. Um, three Skill Drain. And one Imperm. Imperm, you want to get Imperm either turn, like, go in second, or if you drew, go into, you know, Max C, and they blow up your field, then you can, it saves you a lot. I used to not run it, and I run something else. And that other thing was, um, this guy. Which also helped me win a lot of games. The Iris Sword Soul, because nobody expects it to happen, but once it does, yeah, I just read the card. It's a really good card, and it works really good in this deck. But you need things to negate, so the Valor was for that. I had more in perm, and also you can chain with Skildren, which is really good. Uh, the one of each, all the traps, the best traps, Dark Magician, you know, um, you will get the chance to use all of them in the duel. You might even, to the point that, like, you, you might be able to send this to Grape and have these two on the field, and that's an Omni Negate. 
that's a banish, especially if you got this. And if you do have like skill drain, you still have your banish and you still have your Omni Negate. And it's, it's crazy. Like, like I thought about it, like a lot of people put a lot of uh, souls. Me, I was like, man, yeah, but nah, you know? <laughs> and this card in the grave is so good. But the one of each, you don't, you try not to rely too much on. Like, I feel like a lot of Dark Magician decks is all about Circle and Eternal Soul. And me, that's what I wanted to break. So, please try it. Let me know in the comment what you guys would add, remove, if you tried it, if you haven't tried it. Let's go to the extra deck real quick. Actually, did a couple fusions, you know. Um, the main Dark Magician fusions and this guy for Super Poly. Um, the Lynx, uh, this for the Dragon Knight. Uh, this for Super Poly or Magicalize, this to Recycle Rod. Uh, this guy and Baron are both warriors, so you can if you go against crook, crook, like chef, whatever that guy is, that you can't that you gotta beat him like by piercing defense. You can get this guy extremely easily. Like, let's say you get this guy in the grave or this guy in the grave, which is really easy to get. Um, you can magicalize with one dark condition and get this guy in the end game. And he has a, a super strong, like, you know, when a card effect is activated that targets you negate and destroy, discard, negate, destroy. So sometimes you discard like those guys, boom, and yeah, it's, it's a lot of plays going on. Of course, the Celine and the Access Code Talker, they, these guys are just like a couple right now. So, 13 cards, unfortunately, um, if they do do something about the Banquet, uh, I'll definitely make an update to add the two others. But I want to say thank you to every single body uh, that comes through and watches the video. I, I'm loving this Yu-Gi-Oh! journey, to be honest. And uh, until the next video, there is going to be a video of the games, also a bunch of games um, that I put together uh, for our journey to uh, Platinum 1. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And next video, man. Everybody have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!